Guys, I am so pumped to tell you about this project. So we're gonna call this Uplifting Art. And what we're gonna do is we are going to um, research some famous artists, add a quote to that work of art, and then we're gonna post it for everyone to see. So let's go ahead and make a difference. All right, so I have a list of artists that you can choose from. Once you've chosen um, an artist, you're gonna recreate a work of art and then you're gonna put a quote on top. So here's an example of a Monet painting with his quote on top. Now, no, you don't have to use a specific artist quote. It's any quote, okay? So let's keep talking. So here's our list of artists to choose from. Um, these are artists that have very recognizable styles. So I'm gonna just copy and paste um, Shepard Fairey into um, my Google here and go to images and you can see that um, he has a very specific style. You can tell that the same artist did all of these works of art because um, they're very minimal portraits with like maybe two, three colors. Um, it's kind of got a pop art feel. He also, they feel very postery where he's got words on them as well. So um, what you would do is if you choose Shepard Fairey, then you would make a portrait of somebody. You're not gonna copy this exact exact portrait. You're going to make a, a portrait using his style. Got it? And these don't have to be that hard. Let's go ahead and look at like a super easy artist. So Keith Haring, he does these outlines of figures. Uh, but again, his style is very recognizable. So again, you take his style, you make your own thing out of it, put a quote on it, boom, you're done. Um, what if we looked up like a Pete Mondrian? Super easy. Get, a, get some tape and some paint if you have it. Um, and you could easily make a Pete Mondrian with quotes. So that's what you're doing. So if you uh, find an artist that is not on the list, that's okay too. Just send it to your art teacher so that we can approve it. Um, but we just wanna make sure that you are referencing famous art and you're not just drawing like hearts and flowers and things like that, because we want this to be a little more sophisticated. We also want you guys to explore some famous art. You could even use art from famous propaganda or posters. We've all seen the Uncle Sam poster with the, he says, we want you um, for the army, right? Well, this is a perfect example right here of, um, the recreation of that using the social distancing phenomenon, right? Uh, we've got this We Can Do It poster. How can you use that? Change it a little bit to make it your own. Um, so I have, sorry for all the ums, I'm the worst at that. Anyway, I have a list of quotes here. Some of these quotes are kind of long, so you don't have to, I would recommend using a short quote. Maybe you have a phrase of your own. Uh, you could do that too, just keep it appropriate, okay? But we want these to be uplifting and positive. So just a short little phrase is great, like you can do this um, or, you know, something simple. You can see that this quote um, done uh, with the great wave is too long. The message kind of gets lost. So again, keep that quote short and simple and know the quote doesn't have to relate to the work of art. Can it? Yes, but no, it doesn't have to. And the, the artist that did the work of art doesn't have to do the, make the quote either. I hope that makes sense. So what medium are we doing these in? Uh, you guys, the answer is anything. You, if, whatever you have at home. If you have paint at home, that's a great medium. If you don't, whatever works for you. Uh, you everybody's seen those chalk thing, paintings right now on your driveway. You could do that. Uh, get your parents' approval, though and make sure that you can actually recreate that famous work of art with it. Uh, in terms of what we're doing this on, you could do this on paper, canvas, poster board, cardboard, wood. Um, if you have an old yard sign, I've been collecting old yard signs for people to paint on, and then we're gonna put them in front of the school. So that's an option too. Put it in your yard or bring it to school and we'll display it here. There's this TikTok teacher that made this video. So cool because she is painting on her front window. If you want to paint on your front window, go for it. Just get your parents' approval first. I even have a little link right here to um, different different paints and stuff you can use on your windows. So get crazy. The idea is we want this to be seen by the community. We want to uplift people. Uh, so when you're finished, you're going to put this in your window. You could even bring them to school and your art teacher can display it for you at the school. Just know, you guys, that these will fade because they're going to be out in the sun. So keep that in mind. It's not going to last forever. 
Um, if you are a graphic designer, which you guys know I love, if you have like a digital drawing program or a graphic design software that you'd like to use for this, go for it. Um, how will people see it though is your question. You're going to put this on any social media account you have, send it to your teacher, we'll post it too. We will also print these for you if you follow the dimensions down here. We can print them in multiple copies and put them around the school too. So they'll be very visible. Again, make sure you are recreating a famous work of art, which this right here you guys is actually inspired by a famous artist. So the process. Number one, choose your artist or artwork or art style that you want to replicate. Choose a quote or a phrase. Um, draw thumbnails. We're not copying somebody else's work, so you have to draw thumbnails to kind of work out your ideas, figure out what you want to do, maybe where you want to put the um, quote and how you're going to make it stand out and things like that. Some other things to think about. Make sure that your background isn't too busy so that you can actually see your quote. So for example, you wouldn't want to put a quote on um, a really, really busy, like starry night painting by Van Gogh because then your quote would get lost, right? Make sure your quote is large, easy to read, and like I said, short. Also, you want to make sure that there is enough contrast between the text and the background. So for example, if your background is white, you wouldn't want your text to be white too because then it wouldn't show up. If you're worried about your text showing up, here's a great way to approach it. Draw maybe a square or put a, something on top of your painting or drawing and then put your quote on top of that so it shows up. Here are just two different examples of tying quotes into works of art. Uh, I hope this makes sense and I hope you're inspired. Good luck, you guys.